Hey guys, I'm very excited to show you my recent Harry Styles drawing. As I explain my drawing processes, I'm going to be listing all my supplies that I use at the bottom of the screen. I originally didn't plan on making a time loss for this piece, but I ended up deciding, like, I might as well. So I apologize that I didn't start recording the drawing at the beginning of the process. Here I'm about halfway through with doing my finalized drawing outline. For my finalized outline, I use my 0.3 mechanical pencil and a mono eraser. Just remember to not press too hard so it doesn't indent the paper or make it too hard to erase later on. Since I'm using colored pencil, I like to lighten the area with a kneaded eraser first. When I'm coloring, there are about four main stages my artwork goes through, and the first one is when I lay down all my vibrant colors, and those are listed at the bottom of the video. Once I have my most extreme vibrant colors laid down, I add my extreme shadows. Putting down the most extreme values at the beginning helps build contrast and saturation for when you blend over it, because then they still show through. You can see when I blend with my base colors that I make the area really opaque and you can't see the white of the paper show through because the white that you see is when I blended with the white colored pencil. As I work on his other features, hopefully you can see the same pattern kind of appearing when I put down the really vibrant colors and the really harsh shadows, then I blend over it all at once. So far, the main steps I'm explaining are to add your vibrance first, then your harsh shadows, and then blend over with your base colors. Later on, you can start doing the fourth step, which is adding your detail colors, and I'll mention it when I start doing it for this drawing. Here you can see that I used dark umber to darken around his eyes and his eyebrows. Sometimes I like using markers to help speed up the process and so I don't use as much of my colored pencils. Like here you can see that I used a black alcohol ink marker. When you add details like the ones you can see when I add his facial hair, it's helpful to have an electric pencil sharpener. They're just really convenient and they don't hurt your hands as much. The fourth step, which is the last overall step, is to add your final details with the colors I listed below. Depending on the reference, the final detail colors might be slightly different, or you might also need to use a white Posca pen if you can see really extreme highlights. Here I'm starting the same four steps over again, and you can see the different color combinations I'm using below. For Harry's outfit, I used most of the shades of warm gray and some of the shades from cool gray, but you could just look at the Prismacolor chart because it would be pretty tedious to list like 15 pencils and they're all very similar. For the background in this section, I used an alcohol ink marker by Arteza, and it's the shade Army Gray. The detail colors that I used for Harry's outfit were 90% warm gray and black and white. I'm pretty sure the blue that I used here is called Sapphire Blue, but it doesn't really matter too much. Just make sure that when you're coloring the background, all with a certain type of marker just make sure they're compatible like these ones are all alcohol ink markers even though they're by different brands
for Harry's hair on the larger portrait, I used slate gray and shades of cool gray, so it would look like it was reflecting from the background. For this last section of the Harry Styles drawing, I used a mixture of the colored pencils that I list from both of the previous sections of this drawing. The only difference is that I didn't use quite as many warm tones. I continued to use the same pattern of layering by putting down the vibrance, the shadows, the base colors, and then the final detail colors. And then as you get the hang of it, you'll kind of learn to multitask like different parts of the drawing so you can do bigger patches at once, but you just kind of go with your own flow that you feel comfortable with. At this stage in the drawing, I had just finished using my blending colors and I was preparing to add his details in the form of his tattoos. So I kept the pencils really sharp and so you're sharpening them pretty often, but I find tattoos pretty fun to draw. Just Take breaks because your hands can get sore from holding the pencils so hard. <laughs> Towards the end of your drawing, you can add your really extreme highlights. And for that, I use a white Posca pen, but you can also use a white gel pen. Remember to sign your artwork. And this is just my personal preference, but I like to sign in the bottom right hand corner. This is my completed artwork of Harry Styles. And I hope listing like the colors and some of my processes was a little bit helpful, and if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for me, feel free to comment, and my Instagram is Irie Johns, and thank you for watching.